people, Jorge Vassal signing in one more time. Hope you're having a fantastic day and everything is going your way. Today is July 28th, 2023, and I hope it's a good one for you. It's a Friday. It's a beautiful day where I am. I hope it is where you guys are. And in general, I just hope you guys are happy and things are working out well for you. Now, before I dive in, let me say that this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions on these things. Please see the full disclaimer in the description of this video below, and please only get involved in any opportunities that you see me discussing at your own risk, as they are all high risk. Now, want to give a very quick update on CloudFi, um, and this is why I say it's very important to stay in tune with and in touch with all of the opportunities that we get involved with. I myself always am sure to join the Telegram group. Now you see the little telegram icon is the little arrow right next to it. The little video game controller looking thing is Discord. Those are the official cha channels where CloudFi updates everyone. Okay, so just make sure that you stay updated and informed in the opportunities that we invest in. Right, because it's very important that we get the information from the horse's mouth when we are put in crypto into these platforms. Now, CloudFi, if you don't know, it's a pretty simple platform. They pay 1.25% five days a week, winds up giving you 25% monthly profit. Okay, very easy platform. You deposit whatever you deposit in crypto and they pay us in Bitcoin. So you could deposit any number of cryptos, but we always get paid in Bitcoin. And again, we're earning 25% profit on a monthly basis. We're able to make withdrawals daily and the withdrawals are damn near instant. OK, they're very quick, very fast, basically just as long as it takes to move on a blockchain. All right. But as far as the updates go. Let's go into the Telegram and go back a couple of days because there's a few different updates that, you know, I want to make you guys aware of if you're not already aware of them. OK, so on July 21st, they announced that the minimum deposit threshold has been lowered to only $50. This is going to make it more accessible and easier for people to get started, people to test it out if they want to start with a smaller amount, feel it out before they dive in a little heavier. Or for those that 50 is all they want to put in. All right. Used to be the minimum was two hundred dollars when this thing started. Um, they went down to 100, now they're down to 50. OK, so that was the 21st. I didn't read the message, but you can see it right there. Your feedback is our compass because we value your voice and we want to ensure even budding investors can take flight. We're excited to announce a revision in our deposit criteria. The minimum deposit threshold has now been lowered from 100 to just $50. OK, so there you go. There you have it. People asked for it and they gave it to you. The other thing I'm liking about CloudFi is that the CEO of the company, Jacob, has been um, taking the, the helm, right? The emails, he's, he's sending those out. He's getting us updates. They're keeping us very informed. And I appreciate that very much. OK. So here we go on July 25th, another exciting CloudFi update. Now, basically, for those that like to compound or redeposit, they've put in a redeposit button under your fund deposit option. So you can now take your daily earnings and compound or redeposit those if that's what you choose to do. Personally, I am not one for compounding until I've got my initial investment out. Because if you just keep compounding, compounding, compounding and the platform goes away, then you will just lose all your funds. Right. This has happened to me in the past. So I've learned that very bitter lesson and I've moved forward from that with a different strategy. I personally am not one to just compound, compound, compound. But if you guys want to, you knock yourself out. There is a redeposit feature now available for you. OK. But myself personally, again, my strategy is when I get in these platforms, I like to use funds from one platform that is working to deposit into another. Right. And then from there, I like to get my initial deposit out. So I'll withdraw, withdraw, withdraw till I get whatever I put in there out as well as some profit. And at that point, if I want to start compounding and playing with house money, then I will do so. But by and large, I understand that any and all of these platforms have a certain shelf life. None of them last forever. So personally, I like to get my funds out while I can. But again, here we go. You guys asked for a compound button or feature and they gave it to you. July 25th. That's what that message says. And I'm not going to read the whole message. Long story short, when you go into your back office, if you want to deposit or redeposit or compound, whatever you want to call it to give you a compounding type feature, you can use the redeposit button 
which is found under the fund deposit option in the navigation of the website. OK, and then here we go. This one is to um, today, I believe, July 28th. This one's pretty important. I'm going to read it to you. All right. Dear. I'm sorry. Team updated Cloudfy. Dear Cloudfy community and valued partners. Today, we bring an announcement regarding a change in our team. Mr. Jan Gregory is no longer associated with Cloudfy. Now, I don't know if Jan was saying he was a COO, CEO. I don't know what position he said he had at Cloudfy, but I know that it was a lofty one. Um, and they go on to say, we genuinely want to acknowledge his unparalleled contributions, his dedication, and the role he played were invaluable. And we hope he found his time at, with Cloudfy as rewarding as we did having him with us. We understand that news like this might raise questions and it's essential to clarify a few things. A decision comes after mutual understanding. With the best interests of Cloudfy at heart, we recognize Jan's commendable qualities and are grateful for the hard work he invested in us. And in all fairness, we believe his efforts were duly recognized both in accolades and compensation. But as companies grow and evolve, so do their needs. Cloudfy has witnessed rapid growth thanks to the unwavering support from each one of you to meet the dynamic demands of this growth and take Cloudfy to newer heights. We've assembled a new team. This team will focus, focus extensively on optimizing our corporate mechanisms, ensuring everything that happens behind the curtain is streamlined and supports the momentum, the mo monumental growth we aim for. Our vision is not just about the immediate future. We're laying foundations for Cloudfy to be a leader in the crypto landscape for years to come. This involves strategic shifts, ensuring seamless communication and adapting in a controlled yet proactive manner. We believe our new member, our new team embodies these qualities. Thank you for standing with us for your queries, concerns, and unwavering trust. We encourage open dialogue and we're here to address any inquiries. Together, let's make Cloudfy's future brighter than ever. Well, there you go. So Cloudfy is moving forward business as usual. They'll just be doing so without Jan Gregory. Now, I don't know what's going on with Jan and Cloudfy if there's any issues. It sounds like they left and split on an amicable um, note, right? I know Jan was involved with, uh, he said he was the CEO of Mainnet, I believe, of CMB. We know that both of those platforms have crashed and burned and are no longer paying out or even in existence. Um, the Cloudfy thing, where he messed up in my opinion, is that in his group, when he gave the, the announcement that Cloudfy was basically kaput and no longer working, in his wording of that, he said something to the effect of, I'm just like you guys. And this affects me the same as you. Something to that effect, I'm paralyzed, paraphrasing, but I remember he said something to that effect of, I'm just like you. Now, this is the catch. If you're saying the C you're the CEO of a company, you can't come back and say, I'm just like you to investors, right? You said you were the CEO of the company. That's what you said. So that means when it crash and burn, you can't come back and say, hey, I'm just an affiliate like you guys, okay? So that's what he fucked up, in my opinion. Right. Just my humble opinion. It don't really matter to me one way or the other. OK, even I'm getting a platform. Where I'm not. But some people, you know, they're going to look at this and they say, hey, Jan's no longer involved. That's a great thing. So now I can rock with Cloudfy. There'll be some other people that say Jan's no longer with Cloudfy. So I'm not rocking with him because I, I follow Jan and whatever Jan does. So you're going to have people out here that do, that feel both ways. And you can have some people out here that don't even know who the hell Jan Gregory is. And they're going to say, I don't care either way. And it's not going to make a difference. OK, I'm just bringing you the updates and letting you know what's going down. So for those that care, Jan Gregory is no longer involved with Cloudfy. There is now a $50 minimum. And there is a reinvest button in your back office. Those are the updates with going on with Cloudfy. What I can tell you is that it's still paying. It's still working very well. I've been able to get all my withdrawals in a timely manner. Knock on wood, it continues to keep going that way. But so far, so good. Cloudfy has been a diamond in the rough in these last few months with all the platforms coming and going. Cloudfy has, has basically done very well and continues to grow. So I'm going to log into my back office here and show you this reinvest button. Go ahead and make a withdrawal and wrap this up. All right, so I've logged into my Cloudfy. Now, if you want to get started with Cloudfy, it's very simple. You just basically 
click the little icon. Let me let me come back over here. Now you see the three lines up top, right? So you click the referral link for who you want to get started with. Myself, if you want to rock out with me, Cloudfy, my referral links in the description below. What you do is hit the menu icon. That is the three lines in the upper right hand corner, the hamburger, some people call it. You click on that. I'm already logged in. So instead of where mine says dashboard, yours would say register. So you would hit register. You'd go ahead and register your account and it would then take you into the back office once you do. OK, from here, you will go to fund deposit. Very simple. You type in how much you want to deposit. You select the type of crypto you want to send over. I think they take, um, I believe, 20 or so different types of crypto, right? Both types of USDT, Ethereum based, Tron, Litecoin, BNB, Doge, USDC, it goes on and on. Ripple, Bitcoin, Ethereum, right? So you decide what it is you want to send over. Doesn't matter. Whatever you send, remember, you're going to get paid in Bitcoin. Whenever you make a withdrawal, it's going to be a Bitcoin. You go ahead and say, I'm not a robot. Hit continue. They send you your deposit address. You send your funds over. All right. And that's it. Easy peasy. From there, you'll be earning. Now, right beneath the fund deposit, do you see where it says redeposit? That is the new feature we're speaking of. The minimum amount is the same as the minimum deposit, which is $50. So you see, I have $300 available to withdraw if I chose to. I can come here, hit 300 or any portion of that $50 or more and redeposit that in and increase my daily payout. OK, creating a compounding type effect. But myself, I am going to withdraw these funds. So I come here, I go to the wallet I want to send it to, type in how much I want to withdraw, hit submit. And you will see very quickly I should receive a batch ID. There you go. I got my batch ID so I could actually follow that transaction on a blockchain until it hits my crypto wallet. That is done. And again, if I would have submitted that withdrawal when I first started this video, it probably would have hit my wallet before I finished the video. OK, but that's it. Very simple process. Once you register, you got to go into your settings. That is where you will sign up for your, your two factor authenticator for more security on your account. It's also where you will plug in your Bitcoin uh, deposit address or where you will be receiving your withdrawals. Um, and that's it. Very simple platform. But those are the updates. Jan is out. He's not dealing with Cloudfy. They're not dealing with him. Um, $50 read uh, minimum. You got your redeposit feature. And then there's one more update I didn't talk about, but there's going to be a dividend um, coming. So what they're going to do is they're going to start paying us dividends. So what they're going to do is whenever somebody joins CloudFi, they'll divvy that money up amongst all of the investors or people involved with CloudFi members. And then we'll get a small payout in the form of a dividend. So that was another uh, update I had seen pass through the emails and so have you. So just pay attention if you're involved with Cloudfy, you know, plug in, Telegram, Discord, pay attention to the emails they send out. If you're not in Cloudfy and you want to get involved, the link to do so is in the description below. And that is it. This is Jorge Vassal signing out, sending you nothing but love and happiness, joy, success, prosperity, wealth, and abundance. And as always, beautiful people, please do well and be well.